Hello everybody, hello again. Um, today we had a problem with the chainsaw, the trusty old MS230, which is a great saw, by the way. I don't know if I've said that in any of my other videos. Basically what happened was, when we started it, um, we could hear a metallic rattling sound, so I stopped it, had a quick check of it, and uh, and then it seized up. It wouldn't turn over at all. What had happened was, this, the exhaust had got corroded, and this little bit from the back of the exhaust had worked its way loose, um, had made its way back into where the piston was, and it was interfering with the piston stopping the piston going up and down. Now, I got it back here, stripped it down, found the problem pretty quick, and it's working okay. Now, what I thought might be interesting today is if you have a look, is to actually show you what happens with a centrifugal clutch in a chainsaw. Now, the centrifugal clutch is designed so that when the chainsaw spins, it, uh, it throws three uh, clutch shoes outwards and it grips the inside of the sprocket. Now, the sprocket has been removed for this uh, for this video. What I'm going to do is show you what the clutch does when you run it. I wouldn't recommend you try this at home. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to put the actual uh, camera down because this is my phone and I'm doing it one-handed. It's just an on-spec video. There it goes. And now I'm off camera and I'm starting the chainsaw. We've just put the old exhaust back on um, just to check that it all works. And I'm pleased to see it does because I love that old saw. I'll hear anything bad to happen to it. Now when the saw is actually running um, at idle the clutch shoes are not being thrown out far enough to engage the sprocket but when you rev it up they are thrown out and they will engage inside the sprocket. Now, now watch this as I start to rev it up you will see that wheel whoa there we go get bigger. Now this is what actually happens when you start a chainsaw. Um, at idle, the chain doesn't turn. Then you rev it up, and all of a sudden, it bites the inside of the sprocket, and the chain begins to and the chain begins to turn. Usually, you don't need to worry about clutch shoes. It's very rare that they wear out. Um, sometimes you get a bit of crud in there, and it's always worthwhile cleaning them out with a compressor. Once you actually, uh, if you, every time you change the uh, the sprocket, we'll give it a we'll give it a good clean out. You can see the three springs there actually pull the uh, the shoes back. Uh, Back inwards. Now, when you reassemble the chainsaw, first thing that goes back on, you, you've got your needle bearing, then you have the actual um, spur sprocket itself. Now, there's a little mark that this um, that this thing has, and it will actually it will actually fit. It will actually drop down into this little. Where are we? Where are we? Come on! Come on! Come on! Where are we? But there it is. Um, if you can't get your sprocket, your uh, sprocket cover on afterwards, it's usually because you haven't located that properly. Then we get a little washer, and then we get a little sir clip to hold it all in place. Now, when this is all, when this is all actually um, back together, the um, the clutch shoes don't interfere with the with the actual um, rim sprocket at all. Sorry, spur sprocket at all, and it's free to spin. Now I put the chain brake on and it locks it solid. The engine isn't actually running at this point. I'll just uh, I'll just just hasten to add. So what I'm going to do now is actually start the, the saw up. Now I really expected that um, the sprocket would not really be running, but lo and behold, I started up and at idle, there we go. The clutch has engaged and the sprocket is going hell for leather. What's happened here is that the exhaust is actually still leaking a bit and um, it's not restricting the engine as much as it normally would and um, the engine is actually idling faster than it normally would. When the saw is running, you can see I'm just demonstrating there that this isn't just a bit of idle spin, the, the clutch is actually engaged there. Now when the saw is actually um, running like this I could hear that the idle was too fast. I could turn the idle down but I'm going to get a new exhaust for it anyway so I'll, uh, uh, that'll resolve the problem. Okay. That's how a clutch works on a chainsaw. Um, hope it was interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.